This will be a very quick little video. I was going to talk about acceleration and jerk settings in your printers. I'm going to use the TiVo flash as, a, as the one to talk about. Basically, obviously this is heavily modded and you can see all the mods on my channel. But I bought this way back when the flash first came out, uh, $217 and bought it simply just so I could do mods. But the one thing I noticed back then is the uh, it was very jerky. The, the movements were so sudden. Any time the bed moved, no matter how slow you turn the rate down or how slow you're printing, at the end of any movement it was brick wall stop, brick wall stop, just slam, 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 everything. All the axes were that way. And when I actually got to where I was doing prints, uh, every now and then there would be random uh, layer skips on the Y table, which is the heaviest because you got the big glass bed and you got the metal frame and all that kind of stuff. So in the end, what I ended up doing, and I, I just thought I'd talk about because I don't think too many people have, is that you can go into your menu. This will be kind of hard for me to handhold and show you all this. And maybe if I turn this light off, that'll help. Is any of that showing up on the screen? Anyway, if you go into your menu and go down to control, oops, and go down to motion, then you've got all your <clears throat> controls. You can set the acceleration, you can set the jerk. In this case, I've slowed the jerks down to 7 for X, Y, and well, I didn't pester Z, it already is plenty slow, and I didn't pester the extruder, it was already plenty slow. And on the accelerations, uh, let's see, we've got X at 700, Y at 700, Z at 700. Anyway, my point is that it uh, made a huge difference in the machine. Because right now this, this thing would be slamming. All the tools, if you watch my earlier videos when I'm talking about these mods, are in here rattling every time it's shaking. Just sh 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 everything is rattling and shaking. Now all you really hear is uh, the motors and the fans. You don't hear any shaking and it's not violent and it's very reminiscent of watching the MK3 do its job. Um, it's going to be a little louder now because it's doing long sweep, sweeping uh, film moves rather than patterns and stuff. But it, this is a good example of uh, what you can do if your printer is running too violently, if it's shaking too much, if your print quality is suffering, if you have a skip layer, especially on a moving bed design. You might just go in there and uh, try and adjust things down. I would start with the jerk. I don't worry too much about the acceleration as much as I do is say get your jerk settings down to seven, six, even try five. If it gets things running too slow, you can always go back in and just you know adjust your speed up on the print, and yet things still uh, stay smooth at the ends of travel rather than just hitting like a brick wall and shaking everything. Anyway. I think this holds true for almost all the printers that have a menu control. If you're having a problem like that, why not play with it? You can't hurt anything. Write down what the setting was before you fooled with it and you can always put it back and a lot of the menus have a uh, go back to factory preset choice so you can actually make it like it was new again if you really don't like what you did. Alright, talk to you later.